digging is echoed in communities by calling 811 before you dig. KPLC's Stephanie Obadiku has more. National 811 Day is recognized each year on August 11th. 811 is the national line that you must call before starting any project that requires digging. Public awareness. I partnered up with uh, Louisiana 811, Steins, Centerpoint, and Shell. Uh, shell pipeline. So we, uh, we're out here doing public awareness, giving away free snow cones and free uh, damage prevention information. So. You never know what kind of infrastructure is below you. A lot of these things were put underground many years ago. State law says that you must call 811 at least two business days prior to a demolition project start date. Multiple utilities are underground. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of infrastructure is based under the ground and people have digging projects all the time. Well, when they go to dig, they can end up in one of those infrastructures and it could cause damage to the infrastructure, making an outage or it's a safety hazard. Billy Forrest, the Louisiana 811 damage coordinator, says that it's a simple process that cannot be overlooked. Getting the ground checked before digging is a requirement by law. This is anytime you're going to do an excavation or demolition project, you must notify 811. It is a state law. Uh, notify 811 prior two to three days and then uh, Locators will be sent out to your location from the member companies who own the facilities that feed your house or your business. By calling 811 before digging, a person can avoid becoming injured and can help protect anything buried underground. Knowing your project and safe digging is the most important thing that we can do for the community and for your neighbor and for yourself. Overall, this day is a reminder for everyone so that they can keep themselves and their communities safe. In Lake Charles, Stephanie Obadiku, 7 News. Experts say that even if you are planning on digging just a few inches into the ground, you should still contact 811 just in case. World War II veteran and Lake Charles businessman Joe Stoma has died at the age of 99. In 1942, Stoma enlisted in the U.S. Navy, deploying to the Pacific Theater of Operations during World War II as a navigator's mate on the USS Laws. In 2015, you may remember he was featured as a 7 News hometown hero. A successful businessman and entrepreneur, in 1968, he opened what would become the iconic S&M Bargain City in Lake Charles. A mass of Christian burial will be celebrated at 10:30 a.m. on Monday, August 19th in the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Time now for your first alert weather forecast. And today's been another very warm day here in Southwest Louisiana as we get ready to